So hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Officially a meet you on a face to face ish. Yes. I guess, kind of. Um, I am so excited, so excited about you. Um, you and um, I'm coming up here, Matthew. You coming I'm up excited here. about it. It's gonna. We've already got people like that are chomping at the bit about it. So very excited, very That's excited. Very exciting. I you saw one lady, she said she had already made room reservations. She's coming from like four hours away. And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, That's cool. That's very neat. I feel, I, I saw that too. I was like, that's so cool. That is, we need that. We need that. We need that. So you guys are going to, um, this is my first year overseeing this particular event. I've planned events before, but this is my first time overseeing this one with this uh, organization that I volunteer with. And so I appreciate you guys for making me look good. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We got you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, all right. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the um, interview. And this, just so you know, I'm going to hold on to this and probably air it um, next week. Um, so, uh, I'll let you know when we do air it and when it hits our website and all of that other stuff. Okay. But, all um, right. first, what is your, I know you're Mississippi queen, but what is your real name or do you prefer not to give out your real name? Um, no, I actually revealed my real name last year. People were very surprised. It's, um, mm -hmm. Caroline Davis. Spell that for me. C-A-R-O-L-I-N-E and then D-A-V-I-S. Caroline and I'm Kara and that's neat okay so how long have you been on uh on TikTok or social media social media well I started my social media um on TikTok I mean I've always been on like a personal Facebook page but as far as being in the public eye I started that in November of 2020 but I didn't start posting recipes and really like putting effort into it um until about october of 2021 and so october of 2021 and we're coming up on october 23 so two right. years you yes. have grown just just your followers have grown just crazy did you yeah. ever expect this no <laughs> no not at all like it was it was by complete accident i knew that i was going to get some kind of traction because of the kind of recipes that i was posting but never this magnitude, never, I never expected that at all. And how did you get to where you were doing cookbooks? Do you have um, history or experience in, in writing or anything like that? I did love to write um, growing up. I would enter essay contests and um, would do those all the time. So I always loved to write. But as far as just as a career, no, I had a publisher reached out to me, sent me an email and asked if I wanted to do a cookbook. And I remember my response was, let's do it. Um, kind of, because I got those kind of emails all the time, just weird, random emails from people wanting me to do stuff. So I just responded back and said, let's do it. And then it actually happened. Um, so we just went from there writing cookbooks. And so you, what were you doing before all this, uh, the TikTok fame happened for you? So I was in, um, Janitorial management. I worked for a very large um, custodial company that did um, contracts for universities, school systems, airports. So I oversaw the uh, custodial crew for the Hancock County, Mississippi school system. And then I moved with that company to oversee the University of New Orleans custodial crew. Um, and then I decided, well, I actually, when I was working in New Orleans, I got a hold of um the the director and he was he was awful and I was like you know what I could work this hard for myself um and not have to deal with this man ever again and that's what I did I quit and started my own business and started social media at the very same time um and that's how I am here today so so that's so, what I did so the name Mississippi Queen how did you come up with that People ask me all the time and I really have no idea. I just don't remember. I just, it was just, it was my cash app name for a long time. And then I started switching it over to my social media, like my Instagram. And, and then I made it my TikTok. So I really don't remember where it came. I wish I could, but I don't remember where that came from. I have no idea. That's I so do funny. remember though, that the regular spelling of queen was taken. So I was like, well, I'm just going to spell it this way. 
Um, and that's, I, that's all I remember. That's it. So had you known that that would be your name to fame, I guess, do you, do you think you would have made it any different? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have changed it. I would have kept it exactly. Would as kept it. I would have okay. kept it. For that sure. is awesome. Yeah. So what does it feel like having videos out there that are that are getting these hundreds of thousands of views, 1.5 million followers over that? Like, how does it feel like going from managing a janitorial company company to this? It's surreal. Like, that's the best way that I can describe it is is surreal, Um, especially the part where, you know, I'll go out in public and people recognize me now. Whereas before I was just a nobody. I was just Caroline Davis based St. Louis, Mississippi. That's just who I was, you know, just a little small town girl. So it's surreal. Like it's just, it's still every single time somebody in public recognizes me as Mississippi Queen, I'm still just so mind blown. And and even the people that are ever with me, like my kids, um, they just get a kick out of it. They're just they think it's the craziest thing. So actually have a small feeling of what that's like because I'm, I'm whenever I go here anywhere I'm like you're the news lady are you the news lady you know I'm like yeah. Yeah, they I'm call the me the TikTok lady, lady. you're that TikTok lady yeah <laughs> I love it there's only so many of them right you know <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> so the news lady. you I said that. I have, I'm the news lady I should get that on my car tag or something um <laughs> Or maybe I should make my TikTok name be that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> so with you said this was a a family affair for you. The whole family is coming yeah. up. So how do you how does your family feel about you being this uh this famous TikToker now? They love it. Um sorry, my phone my, I have notifications that are coming through. They may like mute it. I don't know if it, what it does. Uh, but my family, they love it. My kids, especially, like they think it's just the greatest thing um, in the world. And then all their friends also follow me. So like it's to them, it's kind of like clout, I guess. Like they think it's just really, really neat. Um, and from the beginning, I have involved them from the beginning. It's always been like a family thing. So they love it. They think it's great as well. So you, when I asked you about coming up to uh, Meridian to do the meet and greet with our Feastable event, um, you said you've never been to one that far away from home. So what no. uh, what other type of appearances have you made at different places? Like, it's just been like really small ones, just like Rotary Club kind of events, like really very, very small. Um, so this is going to be like, the biggest one when you said that I was like dang Meridian like I've never had to go that far for like something like this always very very small and very local so so yeah this will be the furthest that I have traveled um for something which I'm excited about we're very excited too like I said when I mean just seeing the people's reactions on the Facebook post and how many times it's being shared and of course we're doing a tv promo right now for it and I'm going to be using some of your tiktok videos <laughs> <laughs> <Screen> recording them <laughs> so just so you know being a commercial but um it's just yeah it is it is the seeing the 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 people that are coming like when I sat down with the board and the, the other day and I told him I said well I said I got to, you know randomly because I was watching his live got to meet this guy Matthew Bounds and he's a you know famous TikTokers got almost a million followers and blah 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 and he might be able to come up to Feastable I'm trying to talk him into it. I said but he's also hooked me up with Mississippi Queen and when I said Mississippi Queen like all the women were like oh, you know <laughs> I'm honored honestly like I can't even tell y'all like I'm so honored and then Matt was kind of on the fence. He's like, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I was like, let's like, let's do it, Matt. Let's do it. It's going to be amazing. Um, and then, then he said he was going to do it. So like, I'm very excited to be able to do it with him as well. Like do it as a, um, like together. I think that's yeah. going to be so neat. It's going to be, be so great. Neat. It's going to be a, um, a, a meeting of the, the magical TikTok world. Is what it's gonna be. <laughs> yes. So um, where do you, where do you see, or where do you hope that this TikTok talk fame takes you in the future? What do you see happening? I know you got more cookbooks coming out, but beyond the cookbooks, what do you hope for your future with this? My dream, like my absolute dream is to see a cookware line of mine in Walmart. Like that's like, and I speak that into existence all the time. And I know that sounds like, that's so crazy. Um, but like, that's where I really would like to see myself is to have my own cookware line. 
Um, but beyond like right here where I'm at, where I live, I don't want to ever see myself living outside of Bay St. Louis or being like super famous. Like, like if you want me to go to a studio to film a cooking show, it's probably going to be a hard no for me. I just want to stay right here in my little town and just cook for TikTok and social media. Um, but like if I had a big dream, it would be it would be to have my own cookware line. That would be my big dream. That would be awesome. I think that would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> well, I'm going to um, I'm going to ask you to do one more thing for which it won't be on this Zoom recording. But if you could just like and just a little bit like shoot just like a video of yourself saying hey meridian i can't uh this is mississippi queen and i can't wait to come to the festival um you know so that way we can use that in our uh, tv program yeah. and i'm gonna uh, shoot matt an email too and ask him if he could do that for me as well um but yeah it was so ex- I was i just i'm so i'm so honored that you said yes and so appreciative <laughs> i'm honored to be asked like y'all have no idea like i just <laughs> I told my kids, you know, about it, and I was like, "Hey, we're going to be doing this event," and they're very excited because uh, we have a, like a full schedule for October. So I was kind of telling mm-hmm. them everything, and that they were we were going to go to Meridian and do all that. So, but it's exciting. I'm honored. I really am honored that y'all asked me. So. <laughs> well, we can all be honored together. And have <laughs> there together. Yeah. Good. The news lady <laughs> and Mississippi Queen. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it, like I said, it was so nice to meet you, and I will let you know when this uh when the interview hits. Like I said, it'll be next week sometime, and uh, just whenever you get a few seconds, just send me that video, just and I will make sure we have it in our promo. All right. Sounds All right. good. Thanks, Kara. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Bye.